In Windows Server 2016, it's possible to make a template user where you can go and create other users more easily that need to have the same rights and group assignments. Let's go into Tools and Active Directory Users and Computers and Server Manager. And in our Users folder, we'll just go ahead and right click and choose to create a new user. Let's go ahead and call this user template. And we'll have the same for the login name. Click Next, put in our password. And then we'll uncheck user must change password next login. We can also change to password never expires, which I think is a good idea in this particular case, but you may not always decide to do that if you have a policy where the password needs to be rotated every X amount of days. Go ahead and click Finish. Now let's customize our template user by double clicking on it. And from here, let's go ahead and go to where it says member of. So if we click on add, let's go ahead and say, yeah, we'll go ahead and give the uh, template user ability to get into the administrators group. Again, not something recommend for everybody, but this just gives you an, an idea. You may have an accounting group, an HR group, those kinds of things. All right, so you can also make other changes as well. Let's go to, for instance, the uh, logon hours. Let's just say that you can only log on certain hours and not other hours. There we go. Click OK. And now let's go to the profile. Let's say the profile uh, path is located. in the public folder. Again, you'll pick whatever folder makes sense to you. And let's just say there's a logon script and it's called logon.bat. And that's where they'll get the, the drive letters and printer mappings, whatever it is that they want. So we've made lots of different changes to this user. Now we've got several more users that are about to start and we want to give them the same rights. Rather than manually going in and, and uh, creating a new user for all these people, all we have to do is just right click on our template user and choose copy. And then we'll go over here and we'll say, hey, our first person coming on is gonna be Tom and Tom Smith. And his login name is going to be Tom S. Click next, put in our password. Now, you'll see the rest of the, the settings here are all going to match what we've done. The only thing that's different is the username and the password. You can see my password never expires but a button is still checked. We'll go ahead and click Next and Finish. Now we'll double click on Tom and we'll go to where it says Account and we can see Log on Hours. Look at that. It has the same restrictions. We can go to the Profile and we see the same setup there as well. So everything is going to be the same, even the members, member of administrators group. Now, when we're all done creating and copying uh, our from our template user, then what I recommend is you right click on that user and you choose disable account. And that way you won't have any hackers attempting to get in with the name template because template, guest, temp, you know, a lot of these different names hackers will use to try to log in uh, and use the rights that you've given that template user. And from there, they'll do whatever it is they do. So that is how you create a template user and make a copy of them in Windows Server 2016 Active Directory.